Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Originally this weekend I was going to be filming kind of a birthday weekend vlog because I had some uh, events, some virtual events planned that I was going to tell you all about. And I had a few other things planned that, was for, that were supposed to happen and um, or that were supposed to get here on time for me to show you all. And um, I don't know. Everything's just crazy right now. So things have been getting postponed and all that kind of stuff. Um, so instead, this week, I decided to um, to go ahead and uh, just kind of do some reflecting on how my social media has changed over the years and how things in uh, my life have changed. Um, and so maybe this will kind of, uh, some, maybe this will spark some inspiration for y'all, uh, to just kind of, I don't know, take the time while we, you know, we have this, this time at home during the pandemic and, um, you know, just to kind of think about, um, just think about things. <laughs> um, you know, originally when I had, uh, when I first found YouTube videos, um, you know, originally I was interested in a lot of the beauty YouTubers. Um, back in 2013 was when I first found them and uh, so uh, you know uh, I didn't I, I never really had the courage to start a channel right away I wanted to but yet you know I was still living with my mom and helping her out because she was sick and everything and I knew she would <laughs> she would completely you know even though I'm in my 30s she would have completely disapproved of me starting a YouTube channel so um, <laughs> so you know, I decided to first uh, go ahead and do an Instagram uh, account, and most of what my Instagram account consisted of, uh, you know, was a lot of uh, a lot of makeup photos, makeup hauls, and declutter photos, and empties photos, and I did a lot of project pan challenges, which um, I think I've explained all that on here before, and it was fun for a while, and it was getting me, uh, it was getting you know a good amount of engagement. Um, but then kind of slowly over the years, uh, I kind of noticed that not only was I losing interest um, in, you know, my own self posting that kind of content, but, you know, after you've watched, um, you know, certain YouTube channels for years, you know, you kind of, uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of predictable, you know, what, what these girls are going to be showing and re-showing every month or year on their channel. Uh, my makeup buying habits have kind of changed a bit. Um, you know, nowadays I'm, I'm seeing a lot of these, these same YouTubers do, uh, let's see, the latest thing that they've been doing is like, what's in my thousand dollar <laughs> uh, Sephora uh, shopping cart or whatever. Um, and so, <laughs> I, I really haven't been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of Sephora shopping lately. Most have been, mostly I've been doing Ulta. Um, I feel like they have a better point system and, I don't know, I just kind of got more interested in, in drugstore beauty products. So, if you've been following my social media for a while and you follow me on several different, uh, platforms, you, you'd probably notice that my, my makeup content, the beauty content has kind of slowed down on my Instagram. Um, now my main focus is more on my Twitter and, um, you know, I'm kind of just, I don't know, I'm giving, <laughs> giving my Instagram some space right now. Like I'm, I'm using it periodically, you know, I still might, might post a, you know, a haul photo on Instagram every once in a blue moon, but, um, you know, I feel like I'm kind of in this transition stage with my Instagram and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it because, um, you know, from what I've heard, Instagram is, uh, I mean, yeah, some people use it, you know, just to kind of throw a, a quick photo up there and they'll do like a, you know, an inspirational quote or something, but um, a lot of people use it for stories too. So um, if I hadn't mentioned that earlier this year, uh, my YouTube, uh, you know, channel viewing habits have definitely uh, evolved a lot. Um, you know, I've kind of gone from watching, uh, beauty and lifestyle and luxury <laughs> uh, YouTubers and um, you know I've I, you know I think I mentioned on here before uh, I watched some prison YouTubers uh, the blind YouTube community has grown immensely over the past couple years um, I watch some personal finance channels uh, I mean I, I take their advice with a grain of salt you know because a lot of these people are uh, you know, they're trying to sell their ebooks or their, uh, you know, their online programs or whatever. Um, 
but you know, it's, it's just interesting to watch and kind of get some ideas. And the latest thing that I've been watching a lot of is, uh, is social media marketing videos. We'll uh, link below a couple of channels that, have, uh, that I feel like have kind of helped me with my social media game. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, you can kind of, you know, take these, these principles that they're telling you and apply it to, you know, whatever your niche is. So if you've been with my channel for a while, or if you're just now catching up on my videos, um, you would know that I started off the channel with doing a lot of contemporary designer handbag videos, and, you know, I would go shopping a lot and do a lot of Bath & Body Works hauls and Target hauls and that kind of stuff, and I still like watching those kind of videos. Um, might post one here or there, who knows, but, uh, you know, definitely not as much. Um, I really haven't felt the desire to go to the mall. I don't know. I just I'm not I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really into it anymore. Um, I I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, you know, I've just been I've been doing a lot of a lot of thrift store shopping online. Um, my um, my best friend. Well, now, nowadays I call her my sister. But anyway, so <laughs> um, she got me into buying uh, Killstar clothes uh, last year. So I've had, you know I have a lot of Killstar stuff. I have some some other alternative clothing um that honestly i need i need to i need to wear that stuff more often um this this top probably i wouldn't be surprised if this is from from tj maxx or marshall's you know my taste in clothing has has kind of evolved especially since i i know that it's available <laughs> um you know when when you're uh you know when you have a mom who mostly shops at at uh at macy's and dillard's and TJ Maxx and that kind of stuff, you know, it's kind of what you get used to and you, you think that that's all that's out there. Um, Y'all have probably seen me do a lot of declutter videos and, um, you know, since I'm, I'm in the moving process, I mean, I've even given away like a bag or two of clothes and not even, um, you know, not even worried about documenting it here on the channel. Um, uh, but one other thing I wanted to mention uh, that has, that has uh, just recently, <laughs> that I've just recently started, um, uh, you know, I, I've been wanting to get back to playing guitar for quite a while, um, and so as of two weeks ago, I started taking classes, um, so, like, when I've been taking classes, though, I've, I've been, you know, sitting at my computer and trying to figure out, um, you know, how I'm gonna hold, like, <laughs> how I'm gonna hold the guitar and how I'm gonna reach the, the fret, the, uh, the frets and the strings and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm still, you know, in that really beginning stage of like, um, you know, just trying to find a comfortable position and, um, you know, we're, but basically we've just been, um, just been working on like, uh, you know, like, like, you know, reaching, uh, reaching, reaching certain strings, like on, you know, at the, the fattest string like then the second fattest one and then <laughs> and then um you know the 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 skinniest strings at the bottom and uh so I've basically just been kind of working on um you know navigating the the frets by you know by feel making sure I'm I'm on the right ones <laughs> um and uh so yeah just working on that these past couple weeks um so once I can actually play a song I'll let y'all know um, and the reason I decided to go with, um, taking, well, one reason, obviously, you know, the places aren't open right now to be taking classes in person. Um, so I've been doing those online, and so I keep having, you know, I don't know if the instructor has ever met a visually impaired person before. So, you know, he tends to, to get close to the, the, the camera, and he's like, here, let me, you know, show you what my, my hands look like on, on the fretboard. Can you see that? And I'm like, no, you know, can you describe to me what you're doing and then tell me if what I'm doing looks correct. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've been working on that and, um, you know, I mean, I, there, there's a ton of, uh, guitar tutorial channels that I've been looking at and watching and, uh, you know, the thing that kind of got confusing for me at the beginning was just, you know, every, every, you know, online, uh, YouTube <laughs> guitar teacher wants to teach you something different at the beginning. So I'm like, well, you know, where should I really be starting at? <laughs> so, uh, so with the one that I'm, I'm doing right now, um, you know, we've just been learning the different notes on the guitar. 
So the last thing about me that I noticed that has changed uh, quite a bit, and I, you know, I think it, it started as kind of a gradual change, and then finally I noticed, I was like, you know what, this, this, uh, I think this is the end of this chapter, was um, me picking uh, the paratransit bus system. Um, and I've actually talked to a lot of other people with disabilities to ask them how the paratransit system is in their area, and apparently it's not very good either. Um, I mean, the idea of it is great, you know, it's supposed to, to serve people with disabilities and elderly people, you know, take them to the di their dialysis appointments and that kind of thing, but, um, you know, and the, the rods here are only $3 each way, but, um, you know, like, like with me, for instance, um, you know, I had a standing ride to go to and from work, and so there would be a lot of times where they would get me to work an hour earlier than I actually had to be there. And then, and then, um, you know, as, as far as the end of the day, there would be times where, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, they would, they would get there right on time to pick me up, but then they would have other pickups and drop-offs along the way, and so I would be riding around on the bus for an hour, or, you know, they would leave me just standing around for an hour at work waiting for the bus, and then they would pick me up and then there would be like an additional half an hour because they would already have somebody else or two other people to pick up and drop off. So, um, you know, and I mean, there, there's other things in there too. Like, um, you know, you couldn't, even if you knew in advance that you were, that you were going to be ready to leave at like two o'clock in the afternoon, even if you knew that a few days prior, they would want you to call them at the last minute and tell them. And then, you know, they would send whatever the next available bus was, which, I mean, it could be, you know, a half an hour later they send a bus, or it could be, you know, an hour and a half later. I think one time I was standing around for, you know, just waiting <laughs> for like two hours for a bus, uh, you know, when I could have, I could have easily just opted to take a taxi or something. Um, so yeah, you know, within the past uh, several months, you know, I kind of started canceling on them in the afternoon more and more. Um, and uh, I don't know, it just, it, it just seems so much more convenient to, uh, to catch a ride share. All right, so that has been my experience uh, over the past couple years as far as kind of change and growth and <laughs> evolution as a person. Um, so let me know in the comments um, if y'all share any similar experiences. Um, and give this video a like, uh, leave a comment if you feel inclined. Um, and subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.